getting their team all ready. I know uh, Coach was looking to, at the films uh, both nights and uh, doing whatever she had to do to get this team ready and whip it around to the other side. A lot of teams, once they bounce it out, if they get a close to open look, they're going to take it, but they'll still have ball moving even after that. Yeah, the way we get is a very Haddon Township-esque, what, what we were told. Rusky and Wallace to tip, and Sterling controls the opening tip. This game has a very chess match-ish feel to it, guys. Naomi Carter, yes! First field goal of the night, Naomi Carter, and she's getting, getting a little crazy out there now. And now finally a foul. That's going to go against Shinkowitz. Now check that's going to be... They put the Taylor Carter, that's her second. Team's third. Both of them were in the area there. Middle Township to inbound underneath, Rusky. They're gonna call that a shooting foul. And somehow they're gonna call that a shooting foul. Are you kidding me? Trying to get a replay on wow. this. That's gonna send Bridget Rusky and her 13 points a game to the line. It's the first. Here's the replay. They're gonna say, wow. Yeah. Trusky's second free throw attempt on the way is up and good. No need to say anything there. The picture really tells you all you need to know. Naomi Carter on the drive, blows past one, off glass, yes. Naomi Carter ties the game at six. She has scored all six Sterling points. And Rusky there almost picked up that pivot foot. And now a three on the way is good. Allison Hunter with a three off the bench. 540 remaining here in the half. <laughs> Corner, wide open, Piper for three, yes. Bench players making the difference early here and Sterling takes a 30-second timeout. And one thing you notice in that moving that around the outside is well, both teams gonna could probably gonna could combine for about 20, or excuse me, 40 points as that's exactly what you need in CMR Cologne. Mid-range jumpers, good. 12-8, Sterling cuts into the lead. Down low, Ross, another block, this time on Pfeiffer. Scored pass for Taylor Carter. Down low for Wallace, double team. Oh, and that's an offensive yep. foul. How much of that is frustration, Matt? Well, you know, she's just trying to make up and make a move. Yeah, she got her. Push her out of the way. Hurley he has not looked to shoot from the outside. She's gotten the ball wide open on the perimeter, not looked to shoot. Taylor Carter off the window, kisses it in. The Lady Panthers. <laughs> An offensive oh. foul on Bridget Rusky. It's getting physical out there. That's her first. That's the team's fourth. I thought they were going to let that go. Yeah. I didn't think they were going to call anything there. Quite it. Because it looked like we, I don't think we had any type of position there. Oh no, they're gonna call it on, they're gonna call that on Sabrina Shinkowitz. I thought they originally They changed it on. the call. And now a timeout yeah. on the floor. That's gonna go against Shinkowitz. That's her first, that's the team's fifth. Well, if you're gonna make this call, probably was more on Sabrina because, I mean, she did have, definitely had her feet moving right there. I thought the near side official had an offensive foul on that. I, I don't know if you saw that, Matt. The near yeah, side I official was right in front of us, called yeah. an offensive foul. Wow. Official, you can see the official in the bottom part of your screen. Yep. The gentleman right down here bottom in the, the bottom right of your screen. Closest one to it. He's going to call it offensive. Yeah. No, no, he did call. He called no, he block, call. but then he pointed block, the other way. They pointed the wrong way. It's, it's win or go home here. Yeah, you're looking at a couple of senior leaders there just kind of talking about saying what the heck they need to do. Or Carter, you're not going to get the benefit of the doubt on that call. Cologne trying to post up down low. Yes! CMR Cologne, her second bucket of the night, ties the game at 12. Turnover. 
Sterling defense forcing the turnover now, and it's deflected. Nice look for Cologne. Yes! From Shinkowitz. Comes way, finds Shinkowitz quickly down low to Jordan Wallace. Can't hit. Wallace, another chance. Misses again. And it's going to be a foul on Jordan Wallace, and that's her third. That's probably a little frustration, that foul. You know, two easy looks, you're unable to convert. So now decision time for Sterling. They're going to get Layla Zapata into the game quickly. And they got to talk to her on the bench. Not to get frustrated, keep doing what you do, and it's going to come. Hit that. Very tense atmosphere in the gym as Hunter nails a three, her second of the night. Zapata to Cologne. Yes! Count the basket and the foul. See Amaro Cologne coming up huge in this game. Yeah. And we said it, it off even with that short jumper, you see her right there getting that put back. Wrong way to go in this one. Cologne's doing a real good defending, job defending away from the ball. Play for another. Nice backdoor look for Shinkowitz, yes! What a look at a pass by Lowe. Ran out of real estate there, finds Naomi Carter, drives. Would have been fouled there, no call. And now it's a two-on-one the other way. Getting back on D is Shinkowitz. Off-balance shot by Rusty, somehow falls. Crowley, he almost walked, no call. Puts up a shot and hits it. A four-point swing there. Has to be a little careful here. She has three fouls as well as Naomi Carter and Jordan Wallace. And now a foul on Naomi. Oh, I think we had a five-second call before the five foul. Five-second call wow. before the foul. And head coach John Leahy is incensed. Because the near side official who I was watching called a blew the whistle. Wow. Credit the defense there. The defense did a great job. Come up big when they had to there with uh, 4.44 remaining here. He's not happy with the call. And he's, he's got to be careful. He's definitely got to watch himself. Wallace looking for her first points. Turn and yes! Yes! And you hope that has awakened. Wakes Jordan up. You know, gets a little, a lot of the pressure off of her to score a basket and in the fourth. Rusty on the drive, swatted. But they're going to call a foul. Yeah, got the body. As we look at the replay right there. but well, It's Jordan's basket. I'd like to see a replay on that foul call as well. Jordan Wallace, her fourth team six. And head coach Kate McDonald can't believe it. You wonder if that's a makeup call from uh, what Coach John Leahy was complaining about a couple of possessions ago. They always say, why do coaches get in the ear of refs? And sometimes it's not about that particular call. It's what's going to happen later. Could Ruskin right about misses. Here it is. There it is. Here's the play. Ruskin misses the free throw. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, a little bit with the body, but they've been letting him play. Because it's a tie game. Middle can't just sit out and hold the lead. But they choose to stay with the man. And you're going to get a foul on That's the middle, foul. I believe. Yeah. Wow. She That's a it big foul. Way. That's going to be on Olivia Nelson, her fourth, team seventh, and now a 30-second timeout score. Time Get everybody on the same page, 325 left. And what a game. If, you know, you, you, we looked at this game in the beginning pretty much how it, it's going pretty much how we felt. Two pretty even teams, low-scoring game. For the most part, teams set in our half-court set. Middle Township in the middle part of this quarter really ran some timeout. Forced Sterling into a man-to-man. -man. And uh, just a great back and forth battle here. Coach, during that break, as teams are coming back on the floor, still talking to the official about that five second call. Shankwitz at the line. Hits the first. I think. I'm not really sure why she's shooting I think, right now. I think actually. he got teed up. Somebody got teed up. One or two from the line for Shankwitz, but I think. Somebody must have gotten teed up. Well, now Lowy's shooting too. I'm, I'm a little because bit. now there's 18 fouls, and now Lowy Naomi Carter's shooting. Uh, I'm 
at a loss. Like, I, I did not see a technical call. <laughs> Be that as it may, Sterling now has what a three-point lead. And really, the, the, the yeah. defensive pressure, I think, got them, got this game turned around in a hurry. Right place, right time. Great opportunity for Sterling. And a timeout on the floor. Sterling with their biggest lead of the night at their best possible time. And we talked about Sterling having a tough time getting rebounds. Jordan Moss right there was not going to be denied. That was her rebound to get. She was not going to let anybody get that from her. And when she went up, you knew it was in. Leading by four. Lusky on the drive. She's That's going to be Jordan's fifth. And if that's on Jordan Wallace, it that's is. That's she's got to stay calm right now. That's her fifth, and she is fouled out. And this is uh, not a very good call. No. There's really no contact. Oh, wow. Almost a travel. That was a lot of, lot of movement. Very close to a travel. It's so unfortunate. She was coming alive in this fourth quarter. Well, the one good thing about that was you didn't allow the three-point opportunity. You made sure you had the foul and not the basket, but that's a, that's a tough call right there. And watch the contact here on the elbow. Right there, left arm of Jordan yeah. Wallace caught the elbow of Rusky. But it's almost like Rusky was in the air and kind of shot the elbow back to Hunter. Trying to get Hunter. Rusky open in the corner. They're setting the screen for her. Rusky trying to drive, kicks it up top. No, rebound to Zapata, and she's fouled. Well, they got the open look. I mean, as far as if, if what they drew up, what they wanted really happened. I mean, they got the open look, got a nice, get to set the feet. Just the first time this half, they haven't hit one of their shots. Yeah, they were trying to set up Rusky in the corner. Sterling fought through the screen. She wasn't open. They kicked it up the side, side the open look. Yeah. Zapata, a chance to put the pressure on Middle Township. Zapata, only two points tonight, both coming from the line. You can't do that. You can't do that. What, Matt, you, what did they do? The, the shooter for the foul shot had the ball, and Middle Township wanted to get a player in there. They did not have a girl underneath under the basket. Oh. 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 the ball unless there's two girls under the basket. But once the shooter has the ball, you can't take it from her. Matt's fired up. We got him fired. Oh. He, they got him fired up. One more from the Hold him down. Make sure he doesn't get a tackle. That's a four-point game. Nine seconds remaining in a timeout by Middle. Ice water in the veins. Off the bench from Layla Zapata, the X Factor. You know, we got... We, here comes the reaction from reaction coming up here. Coach McDonald. <laughs> you get that brief moment saying. of elation and then Middle can't get it to fall. Hurley again on the rebound. And Sterling is going back to the South Jersey Group 2 Championship game. What a game. What a game. Sterling survives. And they will face either Cinnamons in the top seed or Crosstown rival Haddonfield. This is typical of a lot of big wins Sterling's had. There were a lot of things that didn't go right in this game, no question about it. But they just found a way to get themselves back in it. Well, Kevin, what I was going to say, if you had told me Jordan Wallace had four points in the game and fouled out, I'd say our season's over. Yeah. And then into the fourth quarter, and they ran about two and a half minutes off on that possession, content to just run the clock. And, uh, you know, Sterling's just sitting back in their zone. They switch it up to man-to-man, -man, force middle to do something with yeah. the ball, and, and it worked out for them. It's almost like you re Sterling basically redictated the tempo on a team that dictated the tempo to them on a two-minute period of time, and they turned the tables on them. And that really, that basically turned the game around, like I was saying. Absolutely. Sterling wins this one 33. Um, we're going to look at the monitor here about your reaction. This was after 
Layla's shot to make it four. <laughs> I burned a lot of calories. That wasn't working. I'm, I may or may not have teared up a little bit. Well, you deserve it because, I, you know, this team and this game was pretty much what you expect. Is that... On that, weren't you? I wasn't. All right, Matt. I, I got I you later. To do with it. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't lie. But you know what they did? They they didn't smash it in your face. That they did it very delicately. Oh, I was watching the replay. Yeah. I thought it was happening again. They did it very delicately. Whose idea was that? Uh oh. I love you guys right back. Okay. Wow, what a game. Uh, this game had, had a little bit of everything as we're watching everybody get what you just got. Um,